the third critical sales competency that companies are looking to evaluate is your short and long-term strategic planning slash pipeline management ability. Okay. So again, short and long-term strategic planning and pipeline management ability. Some typical behavioral interview questions you might hear to evaluate this competency includes things like, give me an example of a time when you research the market, the current business climate, and competitor data to create a strategic plan for your assigned territory. They might ask you to walk them through your process, detailing the tools you use to conduct your research, as well as what the final plan included. They might also ask, how did you use this plan in your daily sales activities? Now, all that was a lot of words to say. You will be asked to describe how you develop your territory sales plan or how you develop your annual sales plan or your biannual sales plan. Salespeople need to have a plan, almost like a business plan. Most companies require salespeople to put together a sales plan that lays out how you're going to go about your business throughout that period, whether it's a half a year or a year, what territory are you covering, what are those locations? What are those particular facilities, hospitals, uh, doctors, um, whatever your client might be, warehouses, um, which ones are you going to target and why? What do you think the market is for those particular prospects? Um, on and on and on. There are blueprints for creating these sales plans, but you cannot go into a sales interview not understanding that, not having done that, not knowing at least that you need to do that. And they're going to ask you, what tools did you use to do the research? Um, how did you find out about the competitor data? Uh, you know, what made you choose the particular clients you're going to go after and the prospects you're going to pursue? So be ready with how you develop your sales plan. Second behavioral interview question you might hear under this pipeline management and short and long-term strategic planning category is tell me about a time when your normal prospecting method was not successful and you used a creative prospecting technique to build a sales pipeline. I think that one's pretty self-explanatory. If, for example, if your normal prospecting technique is getting a list you know, maybe you purchase an industry list of potential buyers of your product or service and you do that every year. And maybe all of a sudden the organization who produces those lists went out, went out of business. And so those lists aren't available anymore. So maybe you can give an example of, okay, when that happened, what did you do? You know, did you shift over to use LinkedIn sales navigator? Did you, um, you know, use another Another service that's out there that can give you uh, names and phone numbers and email addresses of people, um, you know, whatever it might be, you need to be ready and prepared to talk about how you used an alternate method to, to prospect and build a sales pipeline. The third question you might hear, walk me through a typical work day from the time you get up in the morning until you wrap up your work in the evening. The interviewer will be assessing what a day of prospecting, cold calling, account management, and admin looks like for you. Again, for this one, you better be an early riser. You should have a routine in the morning. You should have a routine in the evening, how you check your calendar and make sure you've got the right appointments there. You know what's in store for the day, um, you know. Do you answer emails in the morning? Um, you know, do you get up first thing? Do you work out? Do you eat breakfast? Don't leave anything out here if asked this question. They want to know, like they said, from the time you wake up to the time you shut it down in the evening, what do you do? Like I said, I get up at 6 a.m. I go to the gym and I work out for an hour. Then I come back and I shower. Then I make breakfast. And then 
I go to my computer and I check my email uh, and make sure that there's nothing that came in overnight or um, then I look at my appointments that I already looked at the previous day, but just to confirm, I know what I'm doing for the day. And then I start my day and then walk them through the types of things you do throughout the day. Is it cold calling? Is it prospecting in another way? Um, you know, is it territory management by visiting clients? Is it, um, you know, is it travel? Whatever it might be, you need to be able to share and paint a vivid picture of what a typical work day would look like for you. And then the fourth and final question you might hear um, in this category is something like, which CRM system are you familiar with? And how do you use a CRM to help you manage your territory? So again, most companies these days will have salesforce.com as their CRM, Microsoft Dynamics potentially. Some companies use HubSpot. And there's plenty of others out there that are considered CRM or customer relationship management tools. Um, so you need to be able to speak to the one or two that you're familiar with and how you use it. Um, again, if you're intimately familiar with CRM, CRM systems, you know, you can, you know, you can put notes in those systems. You can set appointments in those systems. You can have pipeline value amongst a whole host of other things. You can run reports. There's customizations that you can make inside the CRM, um, potentially, depending on how your company runs things that allow you to look at things in certain ways and chop up data. So be prepared to talk about your comfortability with CRM systems. I help frustrated job seekers successfully navigate the job search and interview process. 